The Iranian calendar application is for use with iPhones and iPods and also works with iPads. It displays and converts the Iranian and Gregorian calendars. It includes the calculated Islamic calendar, but since the moon sightings are not considered, it is not 100% accurate. This application has three views, Today, Convert, and Monthly. We're going to start with the Today view. The Today view quickly shows the current date and time information, with the time in Iran at the top of the screen. The dates for the other three calendars are also included in this view. If it's a holiday, the occasion for the holiday is in the red text at the bottom of the screen. Tapping on it will change between the Persian and English text. The language setting would be saved for the next run and is honored in other views. Tapping on the Convert button changes the view to the Convert view. In this view, the top is the Iranian calendar and the bottom is Gregorian. Dialing any of the six date values changes the other five. If today's date is centered, it will be displayed in blue. The day of the week appears at the bottom of the screen. Tapping on the arrow will change it back to the Today view. When in today's view, rotating the device horizontally will change the view to the monthly view and will show the current Iranian month. The Iranian month and year are shown at the top of the center of the screen. Below it will be the time in Iran. To the right is the Islamic month and year, and to the left is the Gregorian month and year. Today's date will be highlighted with a yellow background. Swipe to the left and you can display the next month. Swiping to the right will show you the month previously. Swipe to the bottom for the next year and up for the previous year. You can use two fingers to change the year by five years. Three fingers will change it by 10 years and four fingers will change it by 20 years. Now's a good time to show you a trick. Let's change it to the convert view by rotating it vertically. Tap on convert. If the month is changed and the device is rotated, the monthly view shows the selected month. For this example, let's select Farvardin 1389 and then show the monthly view. As you see, the monthly view shows Farvardin 1389. The dates displayed in red are holidays in Iran. Tapping on any of the red text will display the occasion for the holiday. You can also add your own annual events like birthdays and anniversaries to the calendar by tapping on the button right here. You can select either an Iranian or a Gregorian month and then a day. For this example, we're going to select Fadvardin 13th and we're going to enter in the description of our annual event. I'm going to use birthday for this one. To save the event, first you hit done, and then to save it, we hit the save button. Now you can also add another date while you're still in the same menu. We're going to do April the, the 8th. And we'll do anniversary for this one. Hit done. And then we'll save this. Closing it will take us back to the view. And as you see, Fabad 13 is displayed in purple text because it is both a holiday and an annual event. April the 8th will be displayed in blue because it is an annual event. Dates that are only holidays are displayed in red. Tapping on any of the colored days will show the occasions for that day. As you see here, we have both the holiday, which is shown at the top of the screen, and then also our own entered event that we've entered in ourselves. The annual events can be deleted by selecting the event and clicking on the delete button. Holidays cannot be deleted. If you select a holiday, the delete button is disabled. Now let's delete this event and go back to the screen. Notice that Fadradin 13th 
Conference no longer has an annual event. Therefore, it has changed from a purple to back to a red. I hope you've enjoyed this application and will be able to use it. Thank you so much.